Are we too dependent on computers? There are three common apples in the world. One was eaten by Eve when the world was being created. One hit Isaac Newton on the head, leading to his discovery of gravitational force. And the last one is owned by Steve Jobs, which has revolutionized the world of modern technology. Hence, changing the way that people perceive the world, communicate, and execute duties. When the iPad 2 was officially released on March 11th, people all over the world opted to sacrifice their sleeping time to wait in line just to get the magical device before the Apple Store could open its doors. This device has changed the way people do things, because of its numerous applications that include the World Wide Web for browsing, sending, and receiving emails and numerous multimedia applications such as the camera, video, and music player. In addition, it is also game-enabled and can be used to read ebooks and record notes. iPad 2 is just an example of how eager people are to get closer in touch with the improved lifestyle that is associated with the numerous advanced products of technology present in contemporary society. However, as a result of the increased problems caused by the increased human dependence on modern technology, one primary question arises, are people too dependent on computers? Although since the introduction of computer technology, the world has become a better place, this technological innovation has numerous negative effects, especially on teenagers. For example, most teenagers tend to spend numerous hours browsing through social sites such as Facebook without taking into consideration the nature of the effects such tendencies have on other aspects of their lives such as communication and socialization. In addition, people have a trend of laying back and letting their computers do most of their chores, hence, encouraging laziness and discouraging innovation. On the other hand, because of the universal usage of the internet, personal information may be accessible to others, as evidenced by the increased cases of identity theft that have cost many organizations numerous losses. Regardless of all this, it is not fair to ban an innovation just because it has a few negative effects. Almost all great inventions and discoveries have their negative sides, however, if well used and in a controlled manner, the likelihood of such effects resulting is minimal. For example, the depuration of Botox has given hope to millions of people who wish to retain their youthful skin when used as required, hence, people should not blame Botox when it causes swellings in overdose cases. Similarly, the negative effects brought by overusing computers are individual cases that should be blamed on an individual and not technology. Most individuals normally use computers to perform most of their duties in the name of pursuing happiness, as computers can execute numerous duties within short durations. In addition, computers are used in education, because they have made the learning process easier regardless of an individual's geographical position. Through the internet people can receive and send any information, people can attend virtual classes and can also get any research information. In conclusion, the concern about computers as agents of laziness is unjustifiable, because in the first place to buy any high-end technology one has to work hard. Further, for those who do not work hard, at one point in their lives they must study hard to be smart enough to use any product of technology. Therefore, it is important for those individuals who neglect computers in their lives to note that computers are not the problem, but rather the problem is the misuse of computers by irresponsible individuals. Considering this, there is never too dependent when it comes to using any products of technology, because these products are not only time-saving but also money-saving if well used.